Necrobarista is a visual novel set in Melbourne, Australia. The plot focuses on The Terminal, a coffee cafe that serves both living and deceased clients. The characters, including Maddie, Che, and Ashley, are a pleasant and sardonic bunch that assist consumers accept their fate. The game is not a typical game, but rather a trip through the protagonist's lives with new spirits entering and doing havoc. The narrative is a gripping investigation of mortality, loss, and the unavoidable passage of time with a delightful cast, quick writing, and a delicate balance of comedy. Wild Guns is an arcade-style shooter that blends Wild West and steampunk themes. Players can take on the roles of Clint, Annie Doris, or Bullet, a dog, and his drone. The game features four-player mayhem with the ability to jump, dive, and roll to avoid gunfire. Two new characters with distinct weapons and strategies have been added, and players may compete in local or online rankings. New bosses, levels, and unique weaponry are added and players may take on the boss rush time attack mode for an adrenaline-fueled thrill. Skullgirl's Second Encore is a 2D fighting game with a distinct combination of dark deco aesthetics and meticulous design. The game contains 14 distinct characters, each with their own powers, playstyles, and personalities, making it a must-play for both casual and competitive gamers. The game provides a number of modes for novice players to learn and develop their abilities, including tutorials and narrative modes. For competitive players, the game provides a balanced and competitive experience through online multiplayer and training modes. Nova Lands is a 2D game that blends features from Factorio, Forager, and Satisfactory. Players go on a fresh journey on a faraway planet, constructing their base from a variety of materials. As they grow, they will be able to automate duties, giving them more time to explore. Bots play an important part in demonstrating innovation since they can establish industrial chains and sustain industries autonomously. Players can visit different islands, experiencing a variety of biomes, wildlife monuments, caverns, and notable characters. <music> 30XX is an exciting action platformer game that mixes old principles with current roguelike aspects to provide limitless replay value. It has thrilling action scenes, precise platforming puzzles, and amazing sprite work. Each character has a distinct playstyle allowing players to learn skills and explore sophisticated systems. The game's ever-changing nature ensures that no two playthroughs are the same, and its roguelike advancement system allows players to fine-tune their gameplay. 30x Hacks has both local and online multiplayer possibilities, which improves the whole experience. The Entropy Center is a puzzle adventure game that defies time allowing players to control items in reverse and conquer challenges. Players must solve puzzles to reach the center of a massive space station circling Earth, where humanity's final chance rests. As the Earth approaches an extinction-level disaster, players are left alone as the only survivors. The fate of the Entropy Center is hidden inside its depths, and players must discover the truth about its impending collapse and the end of the world. Feel the ultimate power of conquering the night. Take command of an intense and intriguing battle encounter like never before. Fight in epic encounters with a wide cast of 21 distinct characters, including the all-new Lundrakia, who brings his own set of unique moves, intriguing backstory, hypnotic stage, and enticing soundtrack. Unleash deadly new combinations and awe-inspiring special strikes across several modes, including online multiplayer, arcade, immersive narrative mode, and extensive training sessions. Show off your skills by controlling combatants using various battle styles. Arabella Green, a botanist from 19th century England, retires to Botany Manor, a vast estate with managed gardens dedicated to various species and their own ecosystems. Her objective is to find the ideal habitat for long-lost plants with unique qualities and buried histories. She tries different soil types, sunshine exposure, and watering procedures to nurture each plant, finding its secrets and potential treatments. 
However, the world of Botany Manor confronts obstacles such as pests, shifting weather patterns, and modernization. Arabella faces these problems with wisdom and tenacity. Ghost Trick Phantom Detective is a compelling puzzle-based mystery game set in a universe where life and death are inextricably linked. As a ghost, you must figure out the truth behind your murder, beginning with the detective who may have the key to the problem. Use supernatural skills in the afterlife to possess and manipulate objects and time. Shutakumi, the creator of the Ace Attorney series, directs the game, which has improved graphics and sounds. This is the ultimate edition of a famous puzzle-solving mystery, holding players enthralled as they uncover the truth behind their own murder. Crypt of the Necrodancer is a rhythm-based dungeon-crawling game that challenges players to survive its perilous depths. To explore dynamically created dungeons and meet dancing skeletons, zombies, and dragons, players must match their moves with the rhythm. Danny Baranowski wrote the game's engaging music, which has earned multiple acclaim. A local co-op option is offered for those looking for a cooperative experience, allowing players to team up with friends to face challenges together. The captivating attraction of the game is a must-try for gamers. Mark of the Ninja Remastered is an exciting game that puts players quiet, nimble and cunning talents to the test in a world full of gorgeous vistas and smooth graphics. Players may now play the game on the move, as well as access to additional Special Edition features. A complete stealth experience, Special Edition DLC, upgraded graphics, full 5.1 surround sound, and a new Game Plus mode are among the highlights. To complete the game without killing anybody or erasing all barriers, players must choose between killing or eradicating obstacles. Pentiment is a 16th-century immersive environment built on illuminated manuscripts and woodcuts that allows visitors to explore the village of Tassing and the surrounding Kirsau Abbey. The universe provides opportunities to solve puzzles and unearth secrets. With persons from different cultures and academic backgrounds, Pentiment also enables individuals to make decisions that have a big influence on the community's future. The ramifications of these decisions may be visible for decades, providing people the ability to change the path of this chaotic period and experience the long-term effects of their actions. Ladlanaut is an underwater adventure game in which players go on an ocean-cleaning job on an extraterrestrial planet. They are an intergalactic custodian entrusted with removing the pollution left by a space corporation. The game contains a wide, open-world setting with aquatic organisms known as lottles that change dependent on their nutrition. Players utilize bubble cannons to remove rubbish and acquire ingenious technologies to combat ocean pollution. The waste gathered is recycled into useful objects and upgrades. Yars Recharged combines aspects of arcade action, adventure, and shoot 'em up interrupted by periods of bullet hell. Players must penetrate complicated opponent defenses while always mindful of potential dangers. In arcade mode, there are 30 strong foes to defeat, and each has just one life. Mission mode has 30 different bosses with a worldwide leaderboard, and players must face them directly or use minor cores to get to the main monster. When destroyed, power-ups are released and Yars Recharged allows for local co-op action in both arcade and mission modes. Of the spirits as well, Mr. Fordham. I don't hear the voice. Lamplight City is a detective story set in an alternate steampunkish Victorian past in which the city is a symbol of development and industrial achievement. The game has five cases to solve, each having several suspects, false leads, and varying conclusions. Players must explore the city's shadowy corners and solve crimes in order to bring justice to their clients and track down their partner's killer. The game includes a one click interface and no inventory and players can collect clues and documents in their casebook for study. Marble It Up Ultra is a marble platformer game. It has a lengthy single-player game with multiple difficult stages in which players may cross perilous obstacles. 
defy gravity, bounce off floors, and use strong power-ups. The game also has five competitive multiplayer modes where players may seek for gems, score goals, evade zombies, and show off their marble abilities online. Players may proceed by unlocking a collection of marbles, paths, and headwear, discovering hidden trophies, earning medals, and participating in online play. RHC Emergency Operator, what is your... Unexpected Incidents is an interactive mystery game set in a hand-painted universe. The tale revolves around Harper Pendrel, a handyman who discovers a dying lady and is entrusted with uncovering a sinister scheme. A mystery sickness spreads over the country, and Harper must collaborate with a scientist, a reporter, and an artist to combat it. The game contains an engaging investigation, excellent language, and a broad array of individuals. Key elements include exploring fascinating places with difficult riddles, immersing players in a classic-style mystery adventure game. Fever feels like... Harper! Monster Hunter Stories is a turn-based RPG set in the Monster Hunter universe that requires players to navigate a world full of difficulties and partnerships between riders and hunters. The game has a strategic battle system in which players may overcome opponents by using power, speed, and technical assaults. Players may also turn iconic creatures into monsties, hatch eggs, and make beasts faithful pets. The game also includes the Rite of Channeling, a holy ceremony that reveals latent skills in monsties. The plot is full of friendship and victory. Fallen Prince shall rise again. Ring of Legend. Unicorn Overlord is a tactical RPG with overworld exploration and a groundbreaking battle system. The game features an epic fantasy journey in the distinctive Vanillaware flair. Players must navigate a dynamic universe, build a powerful army, and lead them in animated conflicts throughout five nations. Players can increase their influence and reputation by choosing from over 60 characters, each with their own set of talents and capabilities. They embark on a royal adventure to recover their rightful throne, aided by devoted companions. Or even years, but I shall. <laughs> Wander the Avalon Forest with Ceriza and Cheshire, a magical team that confront difficulties and solve mysteries, control both characters to solve puzzles and fight off enemies. Cereza's power ties adversaries, and Cheshire's quick moves slice and hack them. The narrative focuses on collaboration and the necessity of conquering hurdles. The images are exquisitely hand-painted, resulting in a whimsical environment. However, the woodland is looking for lost witches. Take time to absorb the beauty, but don't stay too long. Join Cereza and Cheshire on their journey to save Cereza's mother and go on a fantastic adventure. Thanks everyone for watching. If you liked any one of these games, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Hope to see you on the next one. And stay awesome.